of the Clifton strains have uh, different needs, yeah. you know, and, and we, uh, we always say, you know, if you, <laughs> if you can't meet those needs, people get very frustrated. Yeah. You know, and, and, and in this time of being, being home, either with, uh, with a family, without a family, with friends or, or, um, or being alone at home, um, if you look at the, the needs of your different strengths, which, which needs do you think is easy to fulfill at this point in time? And how do you do that? Mm. I think um, many of my strengths uh, long for the freedom of my own time and pace and space and permission that I can just be. <laughs> So that is definitely being fulfilled um, with input, the, the, the freedom to, to read and, and learn more at my own pace and time that is flourishing at the moment. My achiever, the freedom to work at my own pace, uh, where I see that need actually like, you say, <laughs> I'm here, is when I'm busy during the day and I do get a call of one of my colleagues, I almost get like, flustered are they going I ha, i'm not done with this yet i can't speak to them now i couldn't they understand they can't call me i'll call them back um so that it's such an interesting dynamic um then the the need to the achievers needs need to be busy and um, that one's a bit of a challenge for me at the moment so really just um finding new ways to do my work it's business it's not business as usual. Everything is now unusual. So to find what I've always done, it's going to look completely different now and in the future. So finding new ways, that's keeping me busy at the moment. Um, the need to, the learners need to um, have an ongoing learning opportunity. I touched on, on that, uh, the experience of the unknown we're constantly learning at the moment I'm, I'm enjoying that experience and then the self-assurance need um, the freedom to act unilaterally and independently uh, I'm thankful for a team that allows me to do that um, my colleagues um, are very yeah, very trusting in that strength and in in my intention and motives and um, allows me to explore and find find ways of doing this work and then trusting me trusting the process that it's going to happen as i say it's going to happen and then the relator need the chances to interact with colleagues and friends one-on-one -on -one. Uh, the challenge was how am i going to do that now we're in isolation and then just seeing how digital platforms make that av um, available mm -hmm. and Magrit, i've had in the last week i've had more meaningful conversations on a computer screen than i than i've had on in one-on-ones in a very long time i think we're all vulnerable wow, we're all mm, mm. Yeah, in a space where we need that and that allows us to just be where we're at and that's all we can do at the moment so i think there's a there's an underlying current of that in all my conversations so that the need for that really purposeful, meaningful relationships and conversations that the relator has is being fulfilled in, in numerous ways. That's absolutely fascinating. <laughs> and I think a key word that you used is, is when, when, um, when we are more vulnerable, we become more honest, not only with ourselves, but with others as well. Yeah. So that's that's such a key thing that you just uh, shared with us there.